That's right. Today we are doing a Breaking Bad Better Call Saul character tier list. I actually just thought of this maybe a minute ago and I'm already starting the recording because uh, there's this guy in my in my Discord. His name is Saul. He actually prompted me to think about making this video because he was making a bunch of like Breaking Bad Better Call Saul jokes and whatever. I just finished my stream as well, maybe like 10 minutes ago. I was like, all right, man, you know what? Let's do Breaking Bad Better Call Saul tier list. So shoot, why not? This is the best show I've ever seen. These two shows were absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously, I, well, maybe not obviously, but I like Breaking Bad more than Better Call Saul just by a hair though. I just like how Breaking Bad just had a ton of action and it always felt like the world was like crumbling around them. Whereas in Better Call Saul, it seems more of like a character piece, like stuff affects the characters more than the entire world around it. And I just like the aspect of like a lot of action and every single minute, you know, thing that can happen will destroy the world around everybody breaking bad just had a lot more cause and effect i feel like like something uh like for example you know the cause and effect with hank being obsessed with like minerals and and he had to be sitting in his bed the whole time it affected his character but all it also affected marie's character and you know everything that happened to walter it would affect his character greatly season one he was this lovable guy you know kind of a pushover kind of a nerd you know nobody really respected him season five he was a cold-blooded murderer it, it was just badass watching his transformation and i i think Walter's transformation because of how badass he turned out to be from at the beginning he was like a teddy bear um, I just enjoyed that a lot more than like Jimmy's transformation you know what I mean even though they're both still really great they're both still really great shows I just like breaking that a bit more so with that being said, we're going to do a tier list here. I'm going to try to remember all of these characters. I see some that I don't remember too well. Um, so let's run through it. That's Lalo Salamanca, Mike Ehrman Trout, Kim Wexler, Howard Hamlin, Jimmy McGill, slash Saul Goodman, slash Gene Takovic, uh, Nacho Varga, um, Gustavo Fring, Walter White, Skylar White, Jesse Pinkman, Hank Schrader, Marie Schrader, Flynn, a.k.a. Walt Jr., Lydia, Todd, Steve Gomez, um, Skinny Pete, Ted Beneke, um, Badger, Huel, uh, Andrea, Andrea, uh, Hector, the twins. I don't know what their name is again. I think it's just the twins. That's Jesse's dad, Bill Burr. I don't remember his name in the show. He has a name, I'm pretty sure, but Bill Burr, um, Jesse's mom, uh, Gretchen, Gail, Jane, Tuco, Elliot, Jack, um, shoot, Don, that's not Don Eladio, Juan Bolsa, Crazy Eight, Don Eladio, shoot, what's her name, I know that's Bill Oakley, what is her name, Francesca, Bill Oakley, Werner Ziegler, uh, Mrs. Kettleman, Mr. Kettleman, um, shoot, this guy too. I know exactly who he is. I can't think of his name. I'm not going to remember it. I know that's Nacho's dad. I know who this guy is. God dang it. I can't remember his name. That's uh, Richard Schweikart. Um, who the hell is that? That's Mike's, not daughter, but it's his son's wife, right? This was, if I'm not mistaken, this is the lady that Skylar went to and she told her, I don't know why the hell this character is on the list. And then this is the Sandpiper guy. Um, this is, isn't this the girl that Skylar went to and told her what Walter was doing with like the meth and stuff? And she was like, oh, it's under confidentiality. Wasn't she like a lawyer or something? I can't remember. This, this character seems ridiculous to be putting in this tier list, honestly. Also with Mike's son's wife. Like, I don't know why they're in the list, honestly. Um, and, and his parents, it's like, why would I put these characters anywhere in like these tiers? They're probably going to go in D, but whatever. Anyway, let's start with off. You know, we're going to go in order top left to bottom, right? Lalo Salamanca. I do think he's an S tier character right now. Um, I honestly might put him in a tier because he doesn't have the amount of character development. He was a fantastic character, don't get me wrong. And he's the only character that made Gus afraid. 
um, that we saw throughout the whole show. He was really the only character that frightened Gus. Walter couldn't even really do that. Uh, Walter just made Gus a little paranoid. You know, we saw that with, I think it was season four, um, episode 12 with the car and how he wouldn't get into the car because uh, he knows he did not poison the child. And he was like, what the hell? You know, I didn't poison the child. He was a little paranoid of what Walter could do. And that's why I didn't get into that car. Right. But I don't think Walter ever scared Gus. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think he did. Um, Lalo was a fantastic character, but I just don't think he had the development that some of these characters had. Um, actually, you know what, thinking about it, I am going to put him in S because there is a character that I like a lot that definitely doesn't have as much development as Lalo, but I would put him in A tier. So yeah, Lalo will go in S. Uh, Mike Ermintrout is an S tier character as well. Um, it's really difficult, right? Because Mike is better than Lalo. Can I change that? Can I move it up there? Can I move him back? Yeah, I can. Mike is better than Lalo, obviously, because we've been with Mike through the entirety of Breaking Bad, the entirety of Better Call Saul, so he just has a lot more character development. You know, we know him a lot better than we do Lalo, and Mike's a badass, so. Kim Wexler, I honestly think is an S-tier character as well. She, she like Lalo, and I do, and I would put her better than Lalo, because Better Call Saul is so much more of a love story than anything else. You know, it is a tragic love story between Jimmy and Kim and her character development in the show was really awesome to see as well. And yeah, she's not better than Mike, but I do like her character as like a full piece more than I do Lalo. Um, yeah, that's just how I feel, honestly. Howard Hamlin, I would put him in A tier. I really want to put him in S. I really do. Um... Because his, his character is so well-written, dude. Like, all these characters in the show are so well-written. This is going to be a really hard list. But we didn't see that much of Howard. We just saw his, like, his whole relationship kind of decline. You know what I mean? Um, and we just saw him as a person, like, decline. And, and what Jimmy and Kim did to him was so undeserved. You know what I mean? Like, it's just really crazy. Um, so, yeah. Saul, this is just, you know, without a doubt, he's the best character in the whole series. Uh, in, in my opinion, Saul is the best character in the whole series. I did not think I would say that before I saw Better Call Saul. Like, after watching Breaking Bad, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm probably not going to like Better Call Saul as much, which I still don't. But I didn't think I would like Jimmy as much as I do. He's, without a doubt, the best character in the whole series. Followed up by Walter. Walter's probably going to go right behind him, honestly. Nacho Varga. He's A tier. Um, I do really like his character, but I, I just love Howard a lot more. I love how they just destroyed Howard and Howard never got a break until the very end. And Nacho is kind of the same, but Nacho put himself in that position, if you know what I mean. Howard didn't put himself in that position and everyone around him just kind of dumped on him the whole time you know jimmy and kim always doing shit to him and then at the end when lalo murdered him you know he didn't deserve any of that so i do think that's a lot better writing than nacho even though i really love nacho um yeah gus is an s tier character absolutely fucking fantastic better than mike if you ask me uh better than the rest of these guys I am putting this in order, by the way. So this is the best. This is the worst in S tier. Um, and that's crazy to say, right? That's crazy to say that Lalo is worse than Kim. But that's really how I feel. Um, and it sucks, right? Because I think Lalo's like one of the best villains in the whole show. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not saying he's a bad villain when I say that I like Kim more than him. I, I hope everyone understands that. So yeah, um... Yeah, I'm going to put Nacho there, and I, I do I do think Howard is better than him. Walter, dude, I fucking love Walter. I think his character is so fucking cool and badass. I don't give a shit that he fucking poisoned the kid, dude. I think he is so cool. Oh, my God. This guy, his character is just fucking amazing, right? Because I've never seen a show before that at the beginning of the show, you completely sympathize with this guy and you're like, okay, I totally understand why he's selling drugs and doing this shit, right? I totally get it. And throughout the show, it's like, 
how much will you side with this guy? Will you still side with him after he murders, you know, that other drug dealer in Jesse's basement? Will you still side with him when he watches Jane die and he could have saved her? Will you side with him, you know, through all this shit that he does, poisoning a child, uh, killing Mike, like everything that he does, will you still side with him? And uh, I, I think that's super cool. I love how, you know, Saul still has some uh uh what's the word morals Stahl, Saul still has some morals Walter none at all he will do anything to get what he wants and I think that is so cool um and I really want to say he I like him more than Saul but as a fully fleshed out character I think Saul is better Skyler's in fucking D tier no I'm joking <laughs> I will put her in B though because you know, a lot of people don't like Skylar because she was really bitchy to Walter. And she was, without a doubt. But it's like, obviously, she's going to be. She doesn't want her, her husband fucking selling drugs, you know what I mean? And constantly lying to her. And she doesn't know what he's doing in the beginning seasons. So it totally makes sense, you know. She's a fantastic character. Um, and seeing Walter and Skylar's relationship deteriorate throughout the entire show was really cool also. This is going to be a really long video, isn't it? Holy shit. Jesse... To be fair, I don't have a lot to say about these characters, though. Jesse is another S-tier character right behind Walter. Jesse is fucking fantastic. I almost want to put Gus ahead of Jesse, which is weird to do, but I love the dynamic that Walter and Gus had a bit more than the dynamic that Walter and Jesse had. I really enjoyed seeing that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I do like Gus more than I do Jesse. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not by a lot. It's by like little fucking sand particles. It's not by a lot at all. I just I just like him a little bit more. Hank Schrader. God, dude. It, it It's hard to do this because I want to... It, it's... Because obviously by my own personal bias... I think Hank is a great character, but I hated how, you know, he was trying to get Walter because I was always team Walter. You know what I mean? Um, I do want to put him in A tier. He's a better character. He's better than Kim, dude. Like, what am I talking about? God, that's too many S tier characters. But it's such a fantastic show at the same time, you know? Yeah, sure. We'll do that. We'll do that. That's cool. Marie, she's a little bit worse than Skylar. Yeah, she's a little bit worse than Skylar. She didn't get that much screen time. Seeing her in the finale of Better Call Saul was really cool. I thought that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. But she was annoying as well. And I don't understand, by the way, how these two fucking people, Hank and Marie, can like the color purple so much. Why is everything in their house purple? I love purple. I'm not afraid to say it. I know a lot of people are really weird and like super like manly and like, no, I don't like pink or purple. Dude, those colors are sick as fuck. What are you talking about? But I don't like purple enough where I would plaster it on every single thing in my house. I mean, that was ridiculous. You would see a scene with Hank and Marie and it's just purple, purple. Way too much, man. Way too much. Flynn, I mean... F Flynn was a breakfast enjoyer. I mean, how much? How, what can I say about him? He he wasn't like a D tier character, uh, because you know Flynn's existence was the reason that Walter did a lot of what he did. So without Flynn, you know, I'm not sure how the story would go. Um, but he wasn't like this amazing character. You know what I mean? He wasn't like, oh my god, I loved when Flynn did this crazy thing. All this dude did was eat breakfast and call his mom a bitch. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to put him in C tier because of that. Lydia, Todd's little crush. Lydia was pretty cool. She had a, a little appearance in Better Call Saul. Um, I'd probably put her in B uh, She, I liked her more than Skylar, though. I'll put her in A tier for now. Todd is without a doubt an A-tier character, better than Lydia. Todd without a doubt, dude. Todd was fucking insane. Todd wasn't like Walter. Walter was insane as well. 
But Walter had a lot of emotion and Todd had no emotion and, and was insane. And I thought that was really cool. I think it's really cool how in Breaking Bad it takes you through all like these these characters and they all are a bit different. Like Tuco's just kind of crazy. He doesn't really think before he does stuff. Gus is crazy as well, but he thinks a lot about what he does. He's very specific about everything that he does. And Todd is just a psychopath. He doesn't care about anyone. He has no feelings. Like I, I just think that's super cool how all the villains in the character have like some different trait and all but they're all scary in their own way. You know what I mean? Um Steve Gomez was awesome. Would I say he's a fantastic character? No, he was just, you know, Hank's right-hand man. He just complimented Hank. Um, I do like these characters all probably more than I do Steve overall as like a fully fleshed out character because we didn't see that much of Gomez, you know? He wasn't a, a integral part in the show. He was just like, you know, Hank's right-hand man. They were buddies, you know what I mean? Um, and And what really sucks too is his death was overshadowed a lot by Hank's death. Um, so yeah, I mean, there just wasn't a ton of character development for me to care that much about Gomez, but he was still great, you know? Um, God, it, it's, it is weird though. I do kind of want to put him down here because I do think Skyler was a f better character than Gomez. Um, which is again, a weird thing to say because Skyler was kind of a bitch throughout the show, but she was, she was a needed bitch. You know what I mean? And Gomez just didn't have, you'd, we didn't really know anything about him. So yeah, I, I would put him here. I would almost kind of want to put him here, but it's it's fine. I think I'll put him in B tier. Skinny Pete, I didn't watch El Camino, so and I know he's in it. Um, so I would honestly put him in C tier, a little worse than Flynn, because I've only seen him in Breaking Bad. He wasn't in Better Call Saul at all, I don't believe. So yeah, I mean, he was nice. He was He was a great friend to Jesse. Same thing with Badger. I'm going to go ahead and put him here. Because of Badger, though, we got we got Saul Goodman, who's the whole reason that the Better Call Saul episode was a thing. But, I mean, obviously they would have done something else if Badger wasn't in the show to bring Saul in. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I, I, I just don't think their characters are as great as a lot of the other ones on this list. Um, so, yeah. Ted Beneke, D tier. Like, I don't think I really need to explain that. You S tier. No, I'm being, I'm doing a serious list. I'm not doing a joke list. Everybody, you know, the big joke is that Huel is like the best thing ever. They want the sequel, Better Fuel, Huel. Um, but I don't know. I do kind of like him more than Badger and Skinny Pete. So I'd probably put him there. Ted Beneke's obviously D tier. I mean, I don't need to explain that. Fucking Andrea, dude. I loved Andrea. I I could not believe that she died. Her death was so unexpected. It was unbelievable. And it's so tragic now that her kid has nobody. Um, and I love her character, dude. Do I like her more than Marie? I think I do. Do I like her more than Skylar? I think I don't. You know? Um, yeah, I mean... But her, her character wasn't super developed. I don't know. I think it's more the fact that she died for no reason. You know, she was she didn't ask to be involved in this the same way Howard didn't ask to be involved in it. But Marie didn't ask to be involved in it either. And she lost her husband, but she's still alive. I don't know. Just as like a fully fleshed out character, I feel like Marie is better. And yes, this is a crazy thing to say, but I do think, I do like Andrea as a character more than Gomez. I think we saw a lot more of Andrea's life than we did Gomez's. We don't know anything about Gomez, you know? We only saw his wife in the finale of Better Call Saul. Hector Salamanca. I would not put him in S tier. No, I would not. Um, I would probably put him here though. I probably do like his character more than I do Nacho, even though, you know, Hector didn't talk at all in Breaking Bad and he only talked for like half of the show in Better Call Saul. But I do think his character is really cool. It's it's hard though, man, because I have a lot of bias where it's like people who are really badass, I really like. And it's hard not to show that in this list. Um, but Saul is not badass. And he's he's number one, but and and Jesse isn't either. Jesse is not badass either. But the rest of these characters pretty much are. 
Um, and yeah, Howard's not at all. But yeah, I think I think Hector right there is a pretty good spot. I don't know. I kind of want to flip him and put Nacho above Hector. Um, the the twins, I'll put them in C tier. I like them more than Ted, but it's like, eh. I'm not like a big crazy fan of them. They maybe said what ten words throughout both shows. I don't know. I'm not a fan. Uh, this is just silly to me to put Jesse's mom and dad in here. Like, I'm just going to put them in D tier because they're just like, eh. You know, I don't have any feelings towards them. Just eh. Just eh. Same thing with this lawyer chick. Who the hell is that? She She's as far down as you can go. Same thing with this chick. That's That's Mike's son's wife, is it not? Bill Burr. Eh. You know, he's just another eh. Gretchen and Elliot would probably go here. Eh. I mean, there were vital characters. Oh, I just realized they're side by side here from the from the finale. That's hilarious. Um, I mean, they're vital characters in the story. They're the whole reason that Walter comes back at, on uh, season five, episode sixteen. The finale, Felina. Um, but it's like, do I think they're greater characters than the twins? No. Do I think they're worse than Ted? No. So I think that's a good spot for them. You know, don't be fooled by this SD tier, you know, ranking or whatever. I'm ranking them in order. So look at it as like, this is the best character, this is the worst character, and then, you know, everyone in between rather than looking at, wow, you put Gretchen Elliot in D tier? You know what I mean? Gail Bedeker. Um, I do have a pet peeve with how they wrote his character. I don't like how they introduced him in Better Call Saul, how he was already fine with cooking meth for Gus. I wish they showed, and this is just like a tiny thing, you know, but I wish they showed them, you know, or Gus, like getting him into the business, how he found out about this guy. You know what I mean? Um, because... Yeah, I just don't like how they introduced them. I thought that's what we would learn in Better Call Saul, but we didn't learn that at all. We we still don't know how this guy managed to get in this business. I know he's like a big chemistry nerd. I think I think how it originally went down was um was he was like, oh my gosh, this meth right here. I I don't know why you would even show him meth. That's why I wish I knew. But he was like, oh my gosh, this meth is really bad. I could do a lot better. And then Walter did a lot better than his a lot better. Because as we know, he started cooking for Gus. And then and then Gus was like, I mean, not Gus. Gail was like, wow, the guy who's doing this 99.1% is insane. I can't do that. I would love to learn from him. And, you know, that's how they got together, I believe. But Gail, as a character himself, eh, probably there. I think that's a fair spot. Kind of crazy to say that I like Andrea more than Gail. Or Lydia, for that matter. <sighs> kind of want to put him up here, actually, now that I think about that. He's not an A-tier character, though. What the hell am I thinking? What if we move Lydia down there? But that's crazy to say I like Andrea more than Lydia. It's very difficult doing a tier list. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. Jane, very vital part in Jesse's story. And then Walter uses her to really piss off Jesse in Ozymandia season five, episode 14. So um, she died, was it the finale of season two? No, the season two finale was the plane blowing up. And then season three was Gale. Season four was Gus. Um, so she died in season two, right? Before the plane blew up, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Was it like season two, episode 12? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so fixated on this now. 
Jane as a character, though, it doesn't matter what freaking episode she died. What am I thinking? Um, honestly, like as a fully fledged out character, probably there, you know. I think that's fair, honestly. I don't think I really need to explain that one that much. I think that's a pretty fair listing. Tuco! Tuco, this is such this is so funny to me. He was barely in both shows. He was only there for like one season in both shows. <laughs> Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I love how the entirety of Better Call Saul, pretty much, he's in jail. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Isn't it because his actor like didn't like playing that role? That's crazy to me, man. If I'm getting bread for playing a character, I am playing that character, bro. I don't care if it drove me to insanity like uh, Heath Ledger with the freaking Joker. If I'm getting mad bread to play a freaking fictional character, dude, I am going to do it. I am not, you know, I am not in a position to be like, you know what I mean? I, I'm just not in a position to turn down a lot of money. But all right. Tuco as a character. Do we like him more than Flynn? No. No, that's a joke. Of course we do. Do we like him more than Gomez? Probably not. Probably put him in B. Yeah. Because he's just a he's just an eh character. He's vital in getting in getting Walt and Jesse further into the business, but I mean other than that, just just eh. Vital in um that story in Better Call Saul with uh, Nacho and Mike as well. Jack. Uncle Jack. I really liked his character, man. I thought it was fucking cool. He was really badass. Um, I do like him more than Tuco. I do think he's a cooler character than Tuco. Not as cool as Todd. That's crazy to say, isn't it? I like Jack more than Tuco. That's crazy. Uh, Juan Bolsa, bro. Honestly... Honestly, like, that's weird, man. That is weird to say. I'm going to skip to these guys. Um, this guy was so goddamn annoying. This dude right here. I'm putting him all the way back there. He was so annoying. I think this is a decent spot for Rich. And I think this is a good spot for Nacho's dad. What was this guy's name? Cliff from Davison, Maine. Clifford, Maine. That was his name. Clifford, Maine. Where would I put this guy on a tier list? I know how we're going at the very end now. But these are just the silly characters, honestly. Like the, the Kettleman's. It's just kind of silly. Clifford Maine. Du, 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 du. Probably right here. Yeah. Probably this because I like how Cliff saw everything that was happening to Howard and just didn't believe at all that it was just Jimmy's fault. You know what I mean? He Clifford also knew how how crazy links like the crazy links that jimmy would go to to get what he wants he saw that when he had to fire him from davis in maine so in his mind he probably believed howard to a certain extent that jimmy did all the stuff that howard was blaming him for but it's one of those things that's like how the hell can you prove that what a wild accusation um the kettlemans were just fucking annoying they were just annoying um, but it's like, honestly, yeah, like honestly, probably right there. That sucks how they didn't put these two right next to each other in a scene like they did these two on this list. Crazy eight. Oh man. Where would I put crazy eight? Crazy Eight died a really tragic death to a actual fucking pussy. <laughs> Walter was a pussy back in season one. Wasn't that when he killed him? It was like freaking episode four or something he killed him. Um, and then Crazy Eight was in Better Call Saul quite a decent amount, actually. Um, but he was just such an eh character, you know? Like, eh. Probably put him there. 
Uh, I do think Jane and the twins and Badger and Skinny Pete and Bill Burr and Huel and even Flynn, I think, are better characters than him. Um, but I do like his character more than I do Clifford Maine, you know, or Nacho's dad or Gretchen and Elliot. So I think that's actually a pretty fair spot for him. Uh, Don Eladio. Oh, man. He was the big baller, the big boss. Um, but probably there. I do like Tuco's character more than Don Eladio's character. We didn't see a lot of Don Eladio. We just saw him get smoked by Gus. This dude got destroyed, man. He got smoked, poisoned, fell in the pool and drowned. You know, that was really cool. Um, yeah, and I do think he's better than, I do think he's a cooler character than Flynn, Huel, Bill Burr. What is his name in the show, man? I don't even remember what Bill Burr's name is in, in the show. Yeah, I think that's a fair spot, honestly. Francesca. Francesca was one of those characters that was also just like, eh. Yeah, I'd probably put it there. She was just, eh. Don't really have any strong feelings about her at all. Jimmy probably could have find, found someone else to do the job for him. You know what I mean? Like, she was just, eh. Bill Oakley, this fucking guy, dude. Bill Oakley. I probably put him in C tier. I do like his character quite more, maybe, than Don Eladio. Wow, that's a wild thing to say. Bill Oakley more than Don Eladio. Not more than Tuco, that's for sure. More than Flynn? No. We'll put him here. As a character, he's better than Flynn, actually. Yeah, I think that's fair to put Don Eladio more than Bill Oakley. And then finally, we got Werner Ziegler. You ever heard of him? Werner Ziegler. I hope y'all understand I'm mimicking Lala. Uh, Werner Ziegler died a tragic death, but Werner Ziegler was also a complete fucking moron. Um, so, like, he kind of deserved it. So, Werner Ziegler, where would I place this guy? Um... He, he totally deserved his death. This guy was a complete dumbass. So D tier, not better than Crazy 8, not better than Dad, not better than Francesca, not better than Gretchen or Elliot, not better than Rich, not better than Ted Beneke. Eh, a little better than Ted Beneke. That's weird. That's, that's almost insulting for me to say I like Juan Bolsa. Why would I say I like Juan Bolsa less than Ted Beneke? That's crazy. Wow, I never even realized that. Yeah, no, without a doubt, dude. Without a doubt. Honestly, Ted Beneke needs to go at the very end near this chick. That's fair. What do y'all think? I think this is a pretty fair list. S tier, Jimmy, Walter, Gus, Jesse, Mike, Hank, Kim, Lalo. A tier, Howard, Hector, Nacho, Todd, Lydia. <sighs> Lydia in A tier is crazy, man. I can't, I can't in good faith. <laughs> I can't in good faith do that. I think, I think B tier suits her a lot better. I think B tier suits her a lot better. Yeah, and as as crazy as it is to say, I do like her character more than Gomez. Because like I said, we just don't see that much of Gomez. Tuco. I like Jack more than Tuco. That's another crazy thing to say. I like Don Eladio more than I do Bill Oakley. I feel like that's kind of crazy to say. Maybe not really. Um, but I, I think this is a really solid list, honestly. Maybe do that. Honestly, I, I probably do like Nacho's character a bit more than Hector. I just love how badass Hector is. Um, yeah. But let's look at the D tier. Crazy 8, Nacho's dad, Clifford Maine, Francesca, Gretchen, Elliot, Rich Schweikart, Juan Bolsa, Werner Ziegler, Mrs. Kettleman, Mr. Kettleman, Jesse's dad, Jesse's mom, uh, Mike's son's wife. Uh, whatever her name is, I don't remember. Um, that guy, the guy that was the big Sandpiper settlement dude, um, Ted Beneke, and then Skyler's, I believe that was her lawyer for a little bit of time. 
I think this is a really good list. I'm not going to lie. I'm a, I'm a fan of this. I think this is pretty good. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you've seen the show, what you really like about it, you know, really about the show, what you, you know, what you would change in this tier list. Cause I'm sure there are a few things that, uh, aren't perfect. Obviously there's a few things I'm looking at where I'm like, eh, do I really think this? Like, do I think Skylar's really a better character? Um, yes, I do. I'm going to change that. Skylar is a better character than Todd. Skylar is a better character than Hector. Yeah, I think that is that is a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. I'm thinking about it like a freaking doctor or scientist. I I do think Skylar being an A tier ahead of Todd and and Hector is a lot better. Yeah, this is my final list. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put it in the books. Bam, Vivali's Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, tier list character tier list. So yeah. Um, hopefully y'all enjoy next. We'll make an episode tier list. No, I'm joking. I po cannot possibly remember every single episode, but yeah, this is a character tier list. I remember all these characters. So I think this is a really good list. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.